Hello everybody, welcome back. You cannot see it on the video, but it's a very cold winter's day. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to be making my own parting tool for the lathe. With the lathe, I received a basic set of uh, chisels and among them was this parting tool. For some reason, I am not, I'm not really figuring this, this uh, parting tool out. I'm, I'm really struggling with it. Whenever I use it, I tend to, to, to damage my project a little bit. Uh, I, I don't know if I don't move it right. I don't, I don't understand. I don't know yet, but I, I will figure it out. But I thought, let me make my own one. I saw a nice video on YouTube and I liked it. And I thought I can do that. And uh, I really like the, the idea of it. So I'm going to be making another parting tool that I can also use. The way I'm going to be making my parting tool is I'm going to use an old circular saw blade, this one, and I'm going to cut it out with the angle grinder so that I have one of the tooth um, as the cutting tool itself and make a little handle for it. I was thinking about using this as a handle and then have the tool and then I'm going to see how that that works so come along on this journey let's let's make something so if you come in a bit closer I'll show you here what I'm going to to make the plan is I want to cut it along this point from this angle just below this circle straight through then I want to bring it down here and then somewhere bring it in so that this part, the back part, will be approximately the same width as this wood because I, I'm going to put it in the wood. The tricky part here is trying to figure out where do I stop the handle. If I make it too short, then I won't have enough metal to, to actually make a proper connection onto the wood. And if I make it too far, then my cutting depth will be limited as to how far I can I can cut this into wood. So I'm thinking somewhere around here will be a great place to, uh, this will be enough, this section here to still grip it inside the wood. I'm quite happy with that. I think that will be a, a good beginning point. Great, let's get the angle grinder and do this. I'm going to clamp this here just like that nice and tight please guys everybody do me a favor whenever you are working with power tools please use the appropriate PPE there's a reason you have to use these um, it's really important I always say you only have two eyes ten fingers and those are really important for making things so please protect them and your ears Okay, I'm quickly going to take the burr off. I'm going to just clamp the angle grinder. All right. This is how far we've gotten. There is my chisel part. Time for the handle. So now I'm going to quickly drill the three holes. Okay, so I drilled the holes into the, the metal and then clamped it onto the wood so that I can precisely drill the holes through the hood so they, they will line up. I uh, have to note that drilling into hardened steel is a lot different than drilling into mild steel. This was uh, quite a story to get through here. 
Now I'm going to have to saw a gap down here so that I can slide the, the metal part in them. If you don't have a bench vise, in my case I don't, uh, I don't have a bench vise that I can clamp this upright in, then a cool thing, cool trick is to take a square piece of off-cut wood like this, line it up to the edge of your workspace, then clamp this wood so it's flush with the edge of the table. And now I can clamp this piece of wood like this. This uh, block is a little bit too big. It's just a little bit too big for a hand. So I'm going to, I put the 60 grit onto the sander. I'm going to just take a little bit off. Right, here's my plan for how I'm going to attach this. So, I'm going to take these fuzzy drive screws and I'm going to, I, I drilled the hole slightly smaller than the screw. So the idea is that I screw it through the wood, through the metal, so the, the, the thread can grip. Then I'm going to cut off the head and the, this part here, I'm going to cut it off on both sides and then use a ball peen hammer to, to uh, round it, punch it from both sides. So in the video I saw the guy did this with the ball peen hammer, I just thought adding the screw thread to hold everything together would just add an extra support. So this is, uh, this is my plan for that. So Okay. Now to cut these off. Now we're going to need this. I think this thing gets heavier all the time. Okay, I'm going to take the ball pin hammer. And using the round side, I'm just going to And then I just have to The blade is sticking out a little bit more because I sanded it now, so I'm just going to take that away and make it nice and uniform I like this. I like this a lot. Now we have to try this and see how it works. I can't wait. Okay. It's working. Okay, that was unexpected, very unexpected. I'm not too sure why that happened. If I had to venture a guess, then I would say that the the tip the, it cuts. Well, first let's 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 talk about this. It cuts really nice. If I look at this groove here, it's 
it's a really nice cut. Definitely better than what I'm getting with the with the other tool. So why did this then happen? So if I had to guess why this would happen, why this happened, then I would say that it's because the cut is so narrow that it's difficult to see on the inside. So I don't know, I have to cut it just below the center, but I don't know if I'm moving it up or down because it's so dark to see. And I think this is what happened. I either went down too low or came up too high and it caught somewhere and then broke it like this. Uh, interesting, also sad observation is I bent from the, from what happened, I bent, I bent this, uh, I bent it completely. I don't know if you'll be able to see on there, but it's this entire tip is bent. There is a possibility that I just spent two hours to not make something, but to learn something. I set out to make a parting tool out of a circular saw blade. I would call that accomplished. Is this a sustainable solution? Something that can work always? I'm not so sure. I am really not sure. Can I make a, a, a nice handle for a tool and attach it really well? Yes. That, that I would say is a real win. That looks really nice. So I would call that a win. Whether this bit is the right bit or the right metal or the right thing to put in here, not, I'm not too sure, but... Okay, I hope that this video uh, um, was, you enjoyed watching it and that you learned something and that you got some benefit from it. Uh, that would really make me happy if that happened. I want to ask you that if you enjoyed this video, would you consider subscribing and sharing the video, maybe uh, giving it a thumbs up. I most of all would like to hear some comments, some some thoughts you might have, especially on this. Uh, it's a, I didn't expect this, but if you have some thoughts on it, that will be great. Then, until next time, make your best life. I quickly cut this, uh, the part off here, the, 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 the piece that was left over off, and I noticed that it seems that there is a something in the wood a crack there's definitely a kind of a hole here and this groove here it doesn't look like it's made by the by the tool so i'm wondering if this is not i don't know it came here and it's it, it caught i don't know maybe i just i just uh, saw it now after i cut this off and i thought let me quickly show you that